Hey boys, hey girls, what's going on? Alex here, and uh, today we are gonna go ahead and test out uh, Kaspersky Password Manager. This piece of software will save your credentials and uh, it will automatically log in to any site you want. So uh, let's see how it works. Let's first download the piece of software, go to um, Kaspersky um, Password Manager. And by the way, this is a free program, um, but also there are paid features, such as more than 15 stored uh, websites with your credentials. And over here you can see password manager. Um, so uh, it will store all your all your passwords, usernames. Then you can save some bank information such as uh, credit cards, numbers, bank numbers, um, you know, holder names, and etc. As you can see, safety, your addresses, and then um, there is also a mobile app for iPhone, Android, and then um, you can generate strong passwords with that. We will see what else. So, over here, say download for PC. If you're using PC, of course. I already downloaded mine, so I will not do that now. Here it is. The installer is uh, 5 megs big so install it uh, before you download the password manager you will need to sign up to Kaspersky so enter your email your email address your name and your password so, uh, so you can download the piece of software let's install the software okay uh, the installation is done and let's now start the application and let's see how it works. There it is. So, select browsers in which you want to use Kaspersky Password Manager. For now, I will uh, I will uh, try to use only on Mozilla Firefox. You can do it uh, also on Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, and Yandex browser. But keep in mind that if you use it on Google Chrome, you need to disable. Uh, how to fill here function manually in Google Chrome you will find that in settings so you need to disable that first before you use it on Google Chrome let's try let's try it now uh, on Mozilla so uh, close our browsers and continue so you you enter here your password uh, master password let's say uh, Okay guys, here we are, uh, here is the uh, interface, um, you have favorites here, you can add your favorite websites here, um, under websites tab, you, you can add up to 15 um, websites, which um, the software will remember the passwords for, over here let's try LinkedIn. LinkedIn. Of course, URL is uh, LinkedIn.com. Over here, login. Uh, let's let's try some random stuff. Test test at all.com and for password some random stuff. Over here, you can see your password um, if you if you ever forget it. You can uh, open this application and you can see the password and hide it. You can auto login. Program can auto login for you. Anytime you visit uh, the website, it will fill this credential. So your username, uh, email, and uh, your password, and it will auto auto login to your website. Um, I will not do that now because.
because um, this is fake, this uh, email and uh, password. This is just for testing purposes. So let's let's try LinkedIn. Let's um, refresh it. So uh, here you can see test test at all dot com and your um, your password. Over here you can see a green key. So that's Kaspersky. And um, it will autofill your uh, your credentials on your favorite websites. And um, if you're when you're done uh, using this application, just click here on lock. So only you can access um, this program. Um, when someone comes to your computer, uh, he will not able to open your um, your program and your credentials so let's try to open the program now so it's it requires your master password which you created um, while uh, sign up for Kaspersky so if it's wrong it will not accept it here we go over here you have applications, you can add some applications, Ident identities, so uh, you, can, you can enter some personal details here, for you or for, or for someone else, Mr. First Name, Last Name, Mobile Phone, Email, um, Company Name, Job Title, Currency Payment Method, over here or you can enter some bank cards and accounts which can be very sensitive data uh, so you need to protect it and uh, this is one great way to protect it you can enter your visa card number expiration validation pin code so you don't need to to keep it in your wallet of course and that's nice add more bank customer service you can add some notes here some quick notes uh, which can be private so only you can see it but don't forget to click on lock if you just close the application um, it will not be locked so uh, if you forget to do that you turn off the computer and uh, your neighbor is coming to you he's opening this and he will see all your websites here your passwords over here and um, that's not good so log the application and uh, you are good to go so uh, that's it for today thanks for watching don't forget to comment rate and subscribe and um, stay tuned so bye bye for now